I'd just like to address the football side because to me that's why these lads, they're a symbol. All you players at this club, that's your symbol. That's your symbol. People have worked hard all their life. Forget the ability. To achieve in life, you need something extra inside you. A dynamo that says, I'm going somewhere. And when the kids arrived at United when they were 14 years of age, that's what they had. They want to go somewhere. And the desire, on top of the ability, because the two things marry, they, they, they work with each other, there's no question about that. But they're that work ethic, which you really need in life. I mean, Peter's business started from nothing. See where it is now, because he worked hard. Nobody comes to your door and bangs on your door and gives you money. Believe me, you have to go out that bloody door and earn it. And working hard is definitely a talent. Believe me. And if you work hard all your life, that is an amazing thing. And we, I've met a lot of people who have worked hard all their life. There was a guy who owned a Granada television, Lou Grade, at 75 years of age, was going to his work 6 o'clock in the morning, every morning in his life. He died when he was 90, still getting into the work. Now, that's, think about that. Can any of you do that? Very difficult. But people who have got the desire will do it. Congratulations on the youth team. I always believe in what I did at United, what always stuck with me. I believed in something I was not going to change. And when I come down to United that, that morning, and the chairman, Martin Edwards, and Morris Watkins, the lawyer, were saying, what, what are you going to do what, what about tomorrow? And I said, well, forget tomorrow. I'm thinking of the future. I want to build Manchester United up again, a foundation that you can rely on. And that's what I believed in. I was never going to change that. So giving people, young people, an opportunity is a fantastic thing. And they very seldom let you down. These lads never let me down. When they put that jersey on, that night down at Port Vale, the League Cup, they had protests in the House of Commons. One woman MP thought I should be banned for life for not playing my full team against Port Vale. People had paid their ten pound or whatever full house, and I played the young players and we beat them two one. That was fantastic. <laughs> that was the answer. Well, what the hand if they played my first team? That was my reply to the press. But just in the general thing, with this opportunity you've got to improve yourselves. Now, you were captivated. Everybody, the whole country was captivated by the week, the FA Cup run. It was brilliant. You, you were magnetic. Everyone's drawn to it. That's what ambition does. You know, Gary's speaking. It's jumping out his skin, ambition. You see this, what you've developed here. That's a sign of ambition. And that's what you've, that's what you've got now. Go on. Work hard. And be, I'll tell you something also. If when your manager, your coaches are hard on you, you know why? Because you need to develop your character that you never lets you down. Never lets you down. I knew when that team of mine went out in the, in the field at Old Trafford, never let me down. No, we never won every game. Obviously, we never won every game. We'd love to have. We tried to. But you know something they never did? They never gave in. You look at the last minute goals United scored. That wasn't done because of their ability. That was because... They never gave in. Their character didn't let them down. They just bang, bang, bang the door. They eventually broke down. You know how many last-minute goals we scored in my time? Anyway, no. 166. You know that? The last 15 minutes at United was over 200. Last, last 15 minutes. That wasn't because of me. That was because of these lads. That was because of these players. They never gave in. It's a quality, too. So I wish you well. I'm delighted to be here. I see fantastic progress. And they're giving something back to you that they got here many, many years ago. This is their area. They weren't a tough coach, Eric Harrison. And it, it was unbelievable. But they needed a tough coach to give them a direction in life. And they got it. So good luck to you. And I'm delighted to be here. Thank you.